Honda likes a big stadium. It's the place Marc Marquez normally shows off his brilliance, riding a bike that lets him do exactly that. And here is their beautiful Fireblade, outside a gorgeous stadium in Durban, South Africa. Honda have a real challenge as a brand. Their Cub is not only the world's best-selling motorcycle ever, it's actually the best-selling motorized vehicle ever, with over 100 million units sold. Thousands of dispatch riders use Hondas every day, the world over. They produce millions of scooters. Their Goldwing is an iconic tourer. So what is Honda all about, really? Even before we look at marine engines and lawnmowers and cars. This Fireblade is a crucial part of their image. Without it, Honda might simply be the most reliable, the most beautifully made, the most serious of all the Japanese motorcycle manufacturers. That's obviously an enviable reputation to have, but it's a bit dull too, and biking is not for dullards, is it? The CBR1000RR is designed directly to connect the brand to its racing genius. We are meant to see and believe that it is a sister bike to their RC213V. The Fireblade is sent to intoxicate us. At a touch over 190 kilos and a touch under 190 bhp, the Fireblade SP meets that magical equation of one brake horsepower per kilo that defines the modern superbike. Most European and Japanese manufacturers now have bikes that satisfied or exceed this rule, and the question is increasingly about which one is the most rewarding to ride, rather than simply able to propel itself forward with astonishing video game-like speed. Honda's superbike is exceptionally easy to ride, with a range of engine settings including what our Durban dealer called Town, Twisties and Track, you can set it up to suit whatever mood or environment you're in. Braking and semi-active suspension are similarly easy to tune and set. The bike's components, from its Olin's suspension to its weight-saving titanium petrol tank, are all of the highest quality. It's pretty well all ride-by-wire. Honda knows this is a bike which has to be the ultimate expression of its ability, and it's done a brilliant job ensuring it's easy to love. In the flesh, it's also a startlingly good-looking bike with its LED headlights, lustrous paint and really natural proportions. All its switchgear, including its TFT console, is remarkably clear and simple to use. It's comfortable at all speeds and adopting all sorts of positions. Pootling around town, blasting through the twisties or straight out nailing it on the open road, the Fireblade feels like a close-fitting glove on your right hand. Whatever you want to do, just do it. You can lean to ridiculous angles, stop in unusually short space, and simply warp speed to the next spot on the horizon that you fancy. It looks, sounds, and goes brilliantly. Speaking to the guys at Umschlange Honda, we learned a bit more. I've loved Honda since I was a little boy. Um, grew, up, grew up on Hondas, grew up on CL85, CL125s. Yeah, now motocross boy. On, now, yeah, now, now into road riding, <clears throat> CBR 150s. CBR thousands. Let me ask you about an animal. If this bike were an animal, what would it be? A cheetah. Okay. Light, mm -hmm. nimble, fast on its feet. Um, yeah. It's about speed and agility then, that's, isn't it? That's exactly yeah. it. For me, it's reliability and finish. Um, have a look at the machines, get, get close to the machines, have a, have a look at the, the finishing on the wildings and and uh, swing arms and stuff like that. It's, everything's meticulous, everything's perfect. If it's not perfect, it, it gets put back and, and, and you get another one. And on the old bike, it was a, uh, a sort of top speed around 270 and you kind of got there quickly. This feels as though it gets to 270 in about two seconds. It does. I don't know, it's not that you got there. Not that I got there, no, <laughs> but it just, absolute, absolute fast, yeah. So for you, what animal is this? For me, I wanted to call it a shark at the beginning of the week. Um, I think it's in Durban, it's a shark. It wants to attack, attack, attack. That's what it feels like. Mm. After spending a few days with this bike, we came to the conclusion that it was a true Honda superbike. In a nutshell, that means sensibly brilliant. 
You'd trust every component, every bit of electronic thinking, every bit of setup. There are bikes that can muster just a bit more adrenaline crazy speed, some which are more brutally good looking. But this is Honda's take on things. Make it right, make it work, make it thrill in just the right way. If you're looking for a completely trustable, everyday work of art, get yourself one of these. In our mind, it's an Arab stallion, handsome, lean, and perfectly proportioned for its world.